mobbed by fans as he arrived at court. Johnny Depp was an hour late for his libel trial, the final day of his team's case against the Sun newspaper. Witnesses included a prominent campaigner in the Me Too movement, Catherine Kendall, one of the first women to accuse Harvey Weinstein of sexual harassment. In text messages to a Sun newspaper reporter, she said she'd been misquoted. I never meant to be in an article that called Johnny Depp a wife beater, she said. I told you that I didn't know that to be true at all. I've heard several times that she, in fact, was abusive to him. A secret recording by Mr Depp's ex-wife Amber Heard was played in court of a meeting between her and her interior designer Laura Devonier. She told Ms Heard she'd felt manipulated by Mr Depp's lawyers into giving a statement. You know, I didn't know any of this knowledge beforehand. I mean, it was literally afterwards. You, you always hid it from me. Yeah. <sighs> it's not your fault you didn't know. I hid it from everyone. That's I know. What Amber people do. A friend of Johnny Depp, Isaac Baruch, also gave evidence, describing photos of injuries to Amber Heard as phony baloney. He says she was trying to extort and blackmail him. And we heard an account from one of Mr Depp's bodyguards, Travis McGiven, of Amber Heard throwing a can of Red Bull at the actor, spitting at him and punching him in the eye. Ms Heard claims that she was attacked. Johnny Depp suspected his wife was having an affair with SpaceX CEO Elon Musk. A concierge described how Mr. Musk visited Ms. Heard often late at night and always when Mr. Depp was absent. Next week, Amber Heard will tell her side of the story. As superfans show support for Johnny Depp on the street outside, it's his legacy and reputation at risk. Adele Robinson, Sky News at the High Court.